Liechtenstein. He made different types of art, including sculpture, murals, prints, and ceramics. But he was best known as a painter, and his comic strip arts are instantly recognizable. Here's a report from Jane Deeth about the retrospective of Roy Lichtenstein's artwork for 20 years, presented by Tate Gallery. You'll recognize a Lichtenstein even if you don't know the painter's name. The print-like dots, the primary colors, the industrial black lines. It's graphic and it's cult. These exclusive pictures show Roy Lichtenstein working in his studio in the 90s, jazz in the background, a spinning easel before him. He wanted his paintings to be perfect from any angle. People were shocked. You'd, you'd come out of this sort of um, very brushy, expressionist moment in American art, and suddenly you were dealing with these sort of surface-level images that were from popular culture. So the avant-garde suddenly became involved with, with popular culture. This painting, Look Mickey, was created after Lichtenstein's son pointed to a cartoon and bet his dad he couldn't paint as good as that. It turned out he could. He played with all sorts of images of popular culture, but they're only superficially superficial. They speak of grand themes of war and love, even as they dare us to take them for real. Lichtenstein painted works that looked like they'd been copied from comic books. He was saying even in our moments of personal high drama, we're actually just imitating the media we consume. We might think we're living desperately original lives, but are we? Lichtenstein was a master at making us take a fresh look. He said himself, the things I parody, I admire. Lichtenstein chose colors carefully to imitate the four colors of printer's inks. He also used Band-Aid dots, a system invented to increase the range of colors available to newspaper printing. If you take a look closely at his work, you can see how the colors are clear from a distance, but look like tiny dots and dashes closed up. Last week, we made a base for our art activity today. I noticed that some of you got too excited and used the base for your own pop artwork. As in that case, you may do today's exercise on a piece of paper. You can try to explore other pop art genres, but today our main objective is to draw a human head in the cartoonish style of Roy Lichtenstein. Try to add Ben Day dots into your artwork as they often characterize his art, reminding us though of the heydays of newspaper printing. <laughs> 